Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to display a small message at the bottom of your screen using Toast. To accomplish this, I created a button, and when you click on that button, you can clearly see the message displayed at the bottom of the screen. Now, how did I do this? I used two main things. I used activitymain.xml for the layout, and I use mainactivity.kotlin, or KT, for the Kotlin code. First, let's start with the activitymain.xml. To find that file, you go to app, down to resources, or res, then to layout, and then activitymain.xml. Currently one item on screen. Let's go ahead and delete that now by clicking and hitting delete on your keyboard. Just like in the completed app, I want to have a button. So let's drag a button from the palette onto the view. As you can see, I put the button in the center of the screen. I'm going to use these bubbles to align each side of the button to each side of the screen, top, left, right, and bottom. To ensure that I've done everything properly, on the design slash text, I click on text and I see the code. It's pretty confusing because there's a lot of stuff in here and it's not formatted. So what I'm going to do is remove all the junk we don't need, like this layout margin top and layout margin start. We now have four constraints for each side, an ID, a height, width, and text. The first thing I want to do is change the text of the button from button to click me. That helps the user understand what we're doing. We can leave the width and height as wrap content, but for the button we do need to make a change. We can leave the app plus ID, which signifies creating a new resource. However, we do need to change the ID of the button. Instead of button 4, let's call it toast button, simply by typing toast underscore button. Next, let's go back up to our app directory, down to Java, then our package name, and double click on main activity. Inside the method we want to implement this under, which in our case is on create, let's create some space. First thing I want to do is use that ID from the button. So as you can see, I use toast button. So let's type toast underscore and wow, I don't have to completely type toast button. As you can see, IntelliSense has popped up and asked me, do I want to use toast button? I do. If IntelliSense did not pop up for you, hit control space on your keyboard and you should see this prompt. You can either hit enter or just click on this option. There we go. I don't know if you saw it, but up here up top, it imported this automatically when we did that. Let's use a dot operator and type set on click listener. As you can see with control space, you can bring up IntelliSense again. There's several options. Which one do you choose? Well, I'm gonna choose the first one that just has dot dot on there. Completed this word and camel cased everything so it's the proper method name. Created two brackets and inside those brackets I'll make a space. So what I want to do in here, first thing I'm gonna do is use toast. Toast class is brought on by just simply typing toast. And there we go. Again, IntelliSense has prompted us with the word toast and you can see it's being imported from android.widget. So we know we've imported the correct one. Next, hit dot make text. What is dot make text? Well, we're getting the method from the class called toast. The make text method does not just make text out of thin air. We have to specify that, taking in three arguments. So the three arguments are the context, the text we want to display, and for how long. In Kotlin, it's pretty easy. All we need to do for the first parameter, which is context, is type application context. Then we can hit comma, type our text. Let's type in John's Android Studio. Tutorials are the best in the world. After the quotation mark, hit comma. Then we can type in our duration. The duration is in the form of an integer, not a specified number like you would think normally. The toast class has a few properties. To access those, we can type toast again, dot, and as you can see, IntelliSense is recommending us to use either length long or length short. To make it easier and longer for the user to see what we did, I'm going to select the long because short will just be for a shorter duration of time. Perfect, looks good. There's some yellow over here. Now what's that about? I don't know, let's click on it. It says toast created but not shown. Did you forget to call show? So what does that mean? Well, it means we made our toast correct, but we're not showing it. So how do we do that? At the end, let's just add dot show by calling the dot show method. As you can see, dot show does not take any parameters. All we gotta do now is hit play and we'll see our Gradle build running at the bottom. Then we can either open up our device or our emulator and see our application is now running. All we have to do now is click on that button and we can see the text we made is being displayed at the bottom of the screen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or in the description of the video, I have my email address, website, and the link to the code I use in this video on GitHub. Thank you and I hope to see you in the next video.